right, it is late night. We just finished our show and we're hungry. <laughs> so we're doing some late night eats. We got the main attraction. We got Mr. Gorgeous. We got Cal Friday. We got Francis on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and there's also Albert Cadena. Oh my god. And we have matching t shirts. And we have our matching t shirts. So, what are you making? What are you making? What are you making? What's making? good to make late at night that's fast and easy if you don't mind grinding a quarter cup of peppercorns? <laughs> is Cacio e Pepe. Cacio e Pepe. Cacio e Pepe. You're saying it wrong. Chin chin. Cacio e Pepe. Up on pan. Yes. Up on pan. Queen and Cacio peppers for the win. Queen and ten. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna sit back right now and I'm gonna let everybody else do the cooking, except that I'm gonna be like my grandmother over their shoulder telling you everything you're doing wrong. Please. <laughs> <laughs> it's only gonna make you stronger. Angie! <laughs> well, Angie's been grinding away. <laughs> this is beautiful. Look what I did. Is that good? Yes, no. that's great. That's so here's good. the jam with cacio e pepe. All it is is cheese and pepper, but the trick is there's a lot of pepper and we're gonna toast it. And that's the first thing that we're gonna do is toast this pepper. So we don't have a mortar and pestle, so there's been a lot of physical labor that has gone into this situation. But we're getting mussels. If you had a mortar and pestle, I would say that you should toast these pepper grain, like, what are they called? Pepper, whatever. Corn, 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 corn pepper corn. corns. Like, you, you would toss the, uh, toast those peppercorns whole, and then you would mash them up with a mortar and pestle, but we don't have that, so we're not going to do that. Toast so, them like in the oven? so if you don't have it, something that I found that works, I've been going back and forth between like mashing it with a spoon very carefully because it'll like shoot out, or, oh, or I've been like using that. the end of the wood. Like You have to be very no, no, careful, no, no. though. But well, we already been doing that, but that is very exhausting on your forearms. Oh my gosh, it is. Forever. It is. But, you know, Angie likes to keep it fit, so no. that's one reason why. And we're using two different kinds of cheeses. We got a Pecorino this, Romano this and a Parmesan. A Parmesan! And we got about a half a cup of, <laughs> of both. And the pasta that we're going to use tonight is a bucatini. It's a nice bucatini. It's a nice, oh, strong bucatini. bucatini. Everybody likes a bucatini. Yeah, bucatini. I love a bucatini. Everybody likes a bucatini. I love a booty. All this right, so who's going to toast the peppers? Yeah. Um, we're all tired now. I mean, nobody. <laughs> That's really come good. on, we got our activity. Hey, Frank, come on into the kitchen and see what Angie's about to do. Well, I don't understand what that is. <laughs> we're gonna. I'm not a fan of these electric stoves. I will say that. Well, you're There's not a fan why of electricity. Why don't we, why don't we electric stoves. Why don't we transfer that to? They are modern. Because we need our water running oh, look, on a boil. Look, because, oh, here it comes. Ladies we're at an Airbnb, so this is also like Survivor. It's like an episode of Survivor. Angie, just wear your t-shirt. Albert. What? Cadabra is working that cheese out. Yeah, look at that. that. Look at that. Okay. Bam. You're going over left. Bam. But that's okay. Doing it. All right, yeah. me. You want to look at me bread. grinding this. I'm fucking working it out. Pecorino. <laughs> God, it. Me. What? She got strong wrists. I do. Okay. Did Angie, you bring? All right. So we're gonna put Did the you bring this? Yep. An alarm for 11 minutes. Albert, how many minutes? 11 minutes, minutes, roughly 11 minutes. It's very serious. There's certain things you don't want to do in life, and that's overcook. Hey, Siri, set the timer for 11 minutes. Well, I didn't put it in yet, but all right. So, oh, this pot's a little small. I know. Hey, Albert. Yes. So we're just going to crack and Did drop. you just break that spaghetti? Yes, because you know why I broke my spaghetti, Francis? That's a very important question. Yeah. If I only put oh. in half my spaghetti and the other half was sticking out, what's going to happen? Half of it's going to cook faster than the Albert. other. It's simple mathematics. And then it's going to be terrible. It's going to be terrible. So, you know what? When you're like presented with a situation like this, you got to break your spaghetti. At home, i got a nice big gigantic pot. Oh my God. Maine, we need to get that pepper. Spaghetti? We need to get that pepper in here, Maine. Okay. You broke the spaghetti? I broke the spaghetti, but it's All okay. of it? Yeah, drop that. No! Holy in there! Smokes. In there! Hold on. Toast it, girl. Toast it. You got to toast that pepper. Okay, so so now can I take it out of this? Yes, drop it all up in there. Get the, get a little spoon. You got to get there's still some. We got to get that aromatic. We gotta okay, get but that there's aromatic. still some, like, full ones in there. That's okay. That's okay. okay. 
That's All okay. Right. Okay. It's going to yeah. give a nice texture. Okay? I can smell it. Yeah, so toast <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, Hold on, I'm going to come up and in, the out. in there. Get a little bit more here. Okay, what am I doing? You are toasting that pepper, so you got to get the oil. I don't, you don't need a oil, girlfriend. You're toasting it. Oh, well, no one told me. Move it around. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Got it. I got it. I'm going to use one of these silicone situations. Okay, keep, I got it moving, keep it moving. We want it aromatic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna toast your peppercorns for about 30 <laughs> minutes. Francis, are you are you sensitive to pepper? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I got spit on you. Oh my god, you didn't get me. Didn't Throw get me. it in the pot and toast it. <laughs> well, luckily it's gonna <laughs> kill all the germs. <laughs> That's delicious. All right, I'll our bucatini's cooking. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Oh, oh. These little man panties. Keep it moving. I call them mantis. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> What's the matter? Are you crying? I'm so excited for this. Are you crying? <laughs> Don't cry. Okay, Maybe. May, keep that it going. Way, keep it going. Way. Keep it moving. We got to toast this pepper. Are you still wearing your hair? Well, this is my hair. <laughs> <laughs> what else I would do with my hair, gal? It's her natural hair. That is a ridiculous <laughs> question. I don't understand. Wearing your hair. <laughs> I am toasting. Are you crying? I'm that. just excited. <laughs> no, girl, because that's because you're toasting it. You couldn't toast it if you did, if you put oil on it. How long okay, do you, you see it? that smoke is coming. How long do you toast it? Oh. Why are you sorry? Until it's aromatic. It smells very. Does it smell <laughs> heavenly? Yeah. I need all this cheese. Right. It could go a little longer. Don't yeah. film me. It could go a little longer. You want to get a nice peppery What smell. if we don't have any yeah. cheese left because Gal ate it all? Well, that's happened before. <laughs> and that's why I brought a whole extra thing of cheese. Good job. Jesus. <laughs> Angie, what's the next step? The next step is after main toast of these peppercorns, which is happening, we are going to drop in some butter and some oil, and we're going to mix it off really nice, and we're going to take it off the heat. And then, when our pasta is done, we're going to drain it, but we're going to reserve a little <coughs> bit of water, and then we're going to mix it in this pan. Now, we are, is this a wok? Yeah. It looks like a wok. It's a wok, but Airbnb, we're, you know... Surviving. We're improvising. We're I'm improvising. Sure put it in another skillet. No, because we gotta put our spaghetti. We gotta put our pasta in. Oh shit! So we gotta put the bucatini oh, in. Oh, this there. is interesting. Because you gotta mix it for life, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, we gotta turn it down. Okay, on. I think we're ready. All right, you ready? Yeah. I'm okay, ready. baby, I'm gonna drop you in right now. Drop some it. Some oil. Mm -hmm. you my salad? And some butter. Okay. Uh, you just mix that in. I've been picking at that. Get them Come acquainted. On. Okay, now magic is happening. Yes, keep the magic going. This is great. And you can keep going, we're gonna drop this heat down. This is a gentle procedure. This is very attractive yeah. to me. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous? And not messed mm -hmm. up. I love cheese so much. Yeah. Everything has to stay over here. Oh, 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 we should. I actually it. think a wok is a mm -hmm. very holy utensil. Well, that's where noodles go. Exactly. We gotta make that heat come down. This is why I don't like electric stoves. Because it burns the butter. Well, well, yeah, and that's going to affect your favor. Yeah, stuff. get off that burner. Get off that. Oh my god, this is so good. I'll do this. You can do a little. Yeah, mm. bring up this stuff. Yeah, have a piece. Jam, jam, jam. Yeah. Real brutal. Mm. Thank you. So good. So good. Mmm. Mm. Remember we made that entire brunch? That brunch made for my birthday. <laughs> what the fuck? Water. Wow. Albert, is that a wok? Albert, we're still filming. Uh, oh, okay, okay. There's a trailer now. It's just a wok. I'm going to kill that. Get that off. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Because that's me a little too hot. Mm-hmm. We'll be reading the wag. So you Albert did not want any of this. Why? I do too. No, no, no. You already <laughs> said you didn't want it. Oh, no, that's right. You're gluten free. I'm not. Oh, He's oh. gluten. Free. Okay, so then what's gonna happen? At 11 minutes, that's gonna be done, which is gonna be soon. We're gonna drain it. We're gonna reserve a quarter cup of water. Get your finger on my. That's not tape now. I think that's I have a beautiful cup. situation happening. You do. Now take it off the heat and let it live. It's, it's off. It's off. I've never seen that. Remember, we turned it off. We turned the heat off. Mm -hmm. it, it's I beautiful. can't wait to eat. Oh. So that's just pepper and butter. <laughs> Oil. That was in the beginning of the video, dude. <laughs> was it? Yeah, I covered it up. <laughs> that is gorgeous, and we like it. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. How do you know when the pasta is You're beautiful. Well, I've it for 11 minutes. 
This pasta is You're filming everything but the cooking. Yeah, right? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh. Talk to Angie. I'm just kidding. I don't like when they put a vent. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening now? Pasta is where you want to set your timer because you don't want to make your pasta smush much. Do you throw it at the refrigerator? That's how you know it's done? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Kind of offensive. That's what I heard. That's ridiculous. The refrigerator? Who would throw food? Who would throw and if food? it sticks, that, who it's done. Who's gonna throw food at the refrigerator? And if it sticks, it's done. You don't throw food anywhere. No, you don't throw it anywhere. That's what we heard in Rhinebeck. No, you just you know yeah. what you really don't do. Rhinebeck. Break the pasta. No, ain't nobody going. I know. Isn't that terrible? I remember you saying that to me before. You're like, oh, break the pasta. I was like, oh. No, oh, it infuriates me. But you know what? My pot's not big enough. So you gotta live your life. How much longer do we got on this pasta? I don't know. Albert, check your timer. Okay, question. <laughs> Why? What's the thing about breaking the pasta? Well, because I want all There's my four pasta. Minutes left. Why don't you? You have four minutes like, left. I don't know, because the... it's just, you know, you should have a pot big enough for your pasta. I mean, it's just life. What's the other rule? That's really the only rule. And don't throw the what have you at the wall. No, why would you ever throw food at a wall? That's how that you is know, ridiculous. How do you know it's I do throw the pasta on the ceiling sometimes. Told no, you. you don't. Yeah, I no. told you. When I'm not sure about it, I told do. you. That is the most. In Why wouldn't you just taste it? Well, I taste it, but sometimes when it's I'm not quite sure, I'll just throw that shit on the ceiling. Because it's yeah, my it's face. Your turn. Look at my face right now. You throw pasta at the wall. But if you can't get it off your ceiling. <laughs> no, not the wall. You can get it off the ceiling. The ceiling, like Lionel Richie. I throw it at the wall, because then it's like... No, you don't really throw it at yeah, the Yeah, you go like this, and then if it, if it sticks, it's good. If it's done, that means right, it's, yeah. that means it's Angie, al dente. Angie is not appreciative of that. It's all dente. If it sticks, it's al dente. I never thought anybody really <laughs> did that. Of course, you making cookies, baby. Well, I would. Well, that's cookies, cooking girl. right. Wait, I would like to show you something that I. Um, it's not your turn. Make. And this is. <laughs> no, this show is, gorgeous. This is good stuff. This you is Rachel Ray. Your Ray. Rachel Listen, Ray. I'm trying this. Albert, this. Hi, friends. This is an important part of cooking. Is that sometimes. Some of us don't know how to cook even the simplest things. That is bologna, and you're a good cook, and so, you know it. This is not bologna. I, I am a good cook, but um, <laughs> in this Airbnb, we found Nestle Toll House cookies. What so what I have done is preheated my oven to 350 degrees. <laughs> I'm now going to take these cookies and place them. Albert, film me. I'm now going to place them two inches apart. Taste the cakes. Girl, that's not cooking. <laughs> Get away. Albert, come back to me. I'm now going to place these cookies Albert. two inches apart. And then once the oven is totally preheated to 350, apart? because they'll spread once they cook, I'm then going to put them in the oven, Ooh, and I'm going to cook spread. them for 11 to 12 minutes mm. until they are golden brown and crispy, at which time I'll pull them out. I'll take a spatula, probably a Rachel Ray brand spatula, and we will place them on a cookie sheet or on a drying rack so they can cool. Um, after we eat this fabulous pasta, we'll have a delicious dessert ready for all of our late night munchies. Is that them? That's them? This is them. So all I'm going to do is break them apart. And you can see that I have not washed my hands. But we have consumed enough alcoholic beverages. That's French for beverage. To, to um, make sure that we don't have any. And Gal is presenting this. Can You, you can just eat I them now, right? I grew up my right? nails, so this looks great. You could eat them now. Um, however, if you wish to die of salmonella... Yeah, Salmagillo. No. <laughs> now you can see how easy this was. Salmagillo ding dong. Two inches. Two inches apart. Now, that's about what we're going to do. Gal uses her fist to measure. Maine is going to use her finger, um, her fingers. And no one has washed her hands, right? No, no one has no, washed her hands. No one. The important thing is you never wash your never, hands. Never. Never. Yeah. Why well, wash your hands? You got to build immunity. Sabor. <laughs> Do you want to touch the cookies too before they go in, like yeah. everyone else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you just picked your nose. Get your hand in there. Albert, how much time we got on this timer? It's got to be almost done. Ah, Albert. We don't, what? <laughs> I didn't Andy know you were there. Work. You got 30 <laughs> see if there's two seconds. Oh, it's a suburb. Check and see what it tastes like, Angie. That's Throw it against seven. the wall. Oh, 32 seconds. It's over. Oh, it's shit on the floor. You've got 23 That's seconds it's done. before the pasta is done. All right, here we go. Go. What? You guys, there's a lot of plastic. What happened? There's a lot of good plastic wearing. Right, here we go. Eric's cookies are in the way. I know, son of a bitch. 
My glasses are fogging out. All right. We're gonna put this back on the heat. The peppers? Yeah, the peppers are going back on the heat. I'm gonna bring in this colander here. Angie, should I bring all the cheese out that made it neat? Yes. All right, watch your butt, Albert. That's really hot. She talks just like you, man. She goes, I know, that's my little girl. That's my little binky dick. I'm gonna use tongs. Yeah. All right, so Gorgia, you could just start giving me some of that business. Just shake it in? Yeah. Shakshuka. Is that good? Yeah. Just one at a time? Doesn't matter? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. And you want the other one? Yeah, let me just mix this in. I'm gonna go behind you so I don't block it. Oh, yeah. What cheese do we use in? Um, Pecorino Romano and a Parmesan. Okay. Reggiano. This is good, girl. They said I was trash, but I'm fashionable. I'm surprised how much pepper went in, but it doesn't seem overly peppered. No, it's not. When you eat it, it's just a gorgeous that looks essence good. of pepper. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is. This is me. Look, man. This should be my tagline. Okay. Mm. Oh, it's not just your butt. Okay. So we mixed together our cheese and our pasta and all of the other fabulous ingredients, and we're pretty much ready to party. And look at this gorgeousness. Oh. Look how beautiful that is. Just put your coat over here. Okay. Yum. Cacio e pepe. Cacio e pepe. Cacio e pepe. So Tradition of Rome. I'll catch a pepe. I'll looks catch so your pepe. All right, I got plates out. It looks so That's good. Fun. Yes. Oh, yeah, can't can't wait. I'm going to catch pepe. What? All right. Albert, you always <laughs> fucking ruin it. <laughs> Albert. Albert. Hey, Albert. 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 Mm. San Joni de yes. Pepe. Yes! San Joni de Pepe! Alright. Water? That ain't water, girl. This is Tito's vibe. Put it on the table. Get on the bench. Thank you, Angie. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Oh my God. Dang. Oh my God. Guys, so you gotta wait for Grace. I'm smelling it. Eric's already eating. You hey, look. Coming over. hey, look, look, I'm Albert. Chin chin. Where am yeah. I? Chin chin. Chin 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 on your chinny chin chin. Cheers. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Cheers. I'm boss. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, show guys. I'm eating. I'm eating. <laughs> hey, mom, I'm eating. <laughs> is, that what, what? is that what sis says? No, but she that's a good one. She was like, it's just pretend. <laughs> just pretend food. Is this al dente? Don't oh, no. choke. These noodles are short. <laughs> <laughs> Not even like a rosette. Yes. No, but like a nice crisp What you doing? Line. I'm making some Toll House cookies. Yeah. I just pulled them out of the package, package a little while ago. It's um, a super easy, satisfying late night snack after a fabulous pasta dish made by Angie Bontani. These are going to cook for 11 to 12 minutes until golden brown. And um, if you wait a second, Albert will probably get up from his seat Shut to get in the film. Up. So he'll. Oh, I Albert's, this. Albert's over here enjoying his. Um, uh, you can see Albert over here. Um, hashtag Albert Cadabra because he's up there. <laughs> and you, you can see right here I have the cookies in the oven, and they'll be done in about 11 minutes. So um, stay, stay tuned in. We'll be right back oh with God. Angie Bontani mm. Cooks the Greatest Hits. <laughs>